Let's welcome the world-class musician, Mr. Ryuichi Sakamoto. Though he has passed away, his music lives on. Tonight on AI Night Show, let's experience the compassion and musical philosophy of Mr. Ryuichi Sakamoto together. A hearty welcome to you, Professor. Hello, brother. Professor, I've listened to a lot of your music, but I've always had a question in my heart. Whether it's The Last Emperor from The Last Emperor or the Revenant main theme from The Revenant, your music for films can immerse people in the emotions and states of the characters. However, your own albums, such as Out of Noise from 2009 and Async from 2017, feel quite distant and cold to me, and it's hard to feel the tender emotions within. Why is that? Film scores are, after all, in service to the film, aiming to quickly immerse the audience into the directors and the film setting. When I create my own music, that's when I express more of my own feelings and concepts. Can you share your feelings and concepts? Honestly, I find some pieces hard to understand. For example, the track Disintegration from the album Async, it sounds like a piano with broken keys. Your feeling is correct. It's like the remains of a piano after being submerged in water. And the background of this piece is the Fukushima nuclear leak incident in Japan. The seawater strikes the piano, and to humans, they are out of tune. But essentially, they are just returning to their natural state. Now, I no longer wish to praise technology. The Fukushima nuclear incident has not been resolved, and we humans do not know how to keep things under control. All of humanity is so small and fragile before nature. The relationship between humans and nature reflected in the Great East Japan earthquake fully reflects my thoughts on nature and music. The two can be compared. Music is like a nuclear power plant. What interests me now is not human music, but the sounds in the entire natural world. Why do you care so much about the sounds of nature? I might be a bit pessimistic about humanity. Human existence is like cancer to nature. We are destroying many other species every day. Humans may be the only ones in history to damage the natural environment and kill other species without self-awareness. Our actions are very bad. Then what can we do? I strongly feel that I have a significant responsibility to reduce these problems. Even if I can't do much, it's better than doing nothing. Faced with these issues, each of us should do something. I have a family and children, and I'm really worried about the future of the children. How can music benefit children? I want to showcase the vastness of the world of music with its multitude of differences. Music exists in every corner of the world, each with its own unique sound. Just as language varies across regions, so does music. For me, it's very important to understand that there are many differences in the world. We must enjoy these differences. Just like we had a great dinner yesterday, but I can't go there again tonight. I have to go somewhere different. It's the same with music. I can't only listen to one type of music because there are so many different types of music in the world, not just from different countries, but also from different historical periods. Music is a universal language for humanity, crossing not only regions, but also eras. That's right. I want to create music that will still be listened to after I'm gone. When our memories of certain things begin to fade, then those things are lost in the river of history. But if they are turned into songs, they can become a shared memory of a nation or generation, passing down continuously. Music has such power. What insights have your experiences with cancer brought you? People always think that life is a well that will never run dry, but everything is limited. How many enchanting childhood afternoons can you remember? Maybe only four or five, or maybe even less. How many times will you see the full moon rise in your life? Maybe only 20 times, yet it seems infinite but it's actually quite limited. Yes, it seems infinite, but it's actually quite limited. The time left in a person's life increases 
with each passing day. I strongly feel that one must not lie to oneself. I'm a musician, so I want to make real music. I want to live truly, and I hope we can all live truly. Also, don't forget to look at the moon every day. <laughs>